hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution so the very first thing what i want you to do is i want you to isolate this logarithmic part that means this whatever 2 is multiplying we must divide by 2 on both sides so what happens is this 2 and this 2 they are gone so we ended up with log with the base 4 of x minus 3 equals to 1 over 2. Now we want to make things a little bit simpler by converting this logarithmic equation into an exponential one. So we will be using this fact on the right hand side when we convert from the logarithmic notation to an exponential one. So in this case this 4 is our base b, this part is an a and the right hand part is c. So let's go ahead and put it in a exponential form. So this could be written as x minus 3 equals to 4 power 1 over 2. Just I want to make sure on the right hand side 4 power 1 over 2 is same as square root of 4 isn't it? And square root of 4 is always 2. So I can write on the right hand side this as 2 and we have x minus 3 on the left hand side. We want to solve for x so I want you to add 3 on both sides so we are pretty much done so this 3 and negative 3 gone x equals to 5 is our solution and now finally we want to check our answer for any extraneous solution so our solution was x equal to 5 let's go ahead and plug it in on in our original equation so 2 times log with the base 4 so x would be replaced by 5 minus 3 equals to 1. So 2 log of 5 minus 3 is 2 with the base 4 equals to 1. Now I want you to isolate this part over here. So that means I want you to divide both sides by 2 on this side by 2 and 2. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So log of 2 with a base 4 equals to 1 over 2. And now we want to convert this logarithmic equation into an exponential one by using this fact on the left hand side. So that could be written as 2 equals to 4 power 1 over 2. And you know that the 4 power 1 over 2 is same as square root of 4, which is same as 2. So that means the right hand side becomes 2 as well. Now my question is, is this statement true? Yes, this is, this statement is indeed true. So thus our solution x equal to 5 is indeed our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.